My name is Frank McClowry. You're in Tombstone, Arizona, the town too tough to die in front of the OK Corral. And you're watching Surviving in Alabama. Awesome. Guess y'all never know where I am right now. Wyatt Earp's Oriental. And I'm walking up on the birdcage. That's the birdcage theater. We're in downtown Tombstone. And you didn't have very far to stumble across the street. That is the Tombstone Courthouse. It also was built in 1882, and they said it only took them eight months to build. Now, seven men went to the gallows here at the courthouse, two for killing a U.S. Marshal in 1900, but the first five were in 1884 in a botched robbery in Bisbee, Arizona. She lived to be 67 years old, and when she passed away, she had the largest funeral in Tombstone history. That's right, over 3,000 people showed up for that funeral. It's like side right underneath the sign, but I hate to let you down. No gunfights ever happened there, except in the movies. That's right, the original gunfight. Clowry and Billy Clanton. Now while we wait for the Tombstone traffic jam, I'll let you know that that gunfight spilled right out to the middle of the street. Doc Holliday would have been about right where the turn lane is. The last man to die died right there next to the building. One of the McClowry brothers. Now as we make the turn onto Fremont Street, you'll see a wall here. If that wall was not there, it was a vacant lot between these two blue buildings. And that little black marker there, that is the official Arizona marker showing where the gunfight happened. The gunfight on Fremont Street. I'll tell you how the bullet holes happen. The Cowboys liked the performance, they'd shoot their guns in the air. They didn't like the performance, they'd shoot the ground. They didn't like the performer, ow, shot them too. 25 men, one woman, and a dog. I'm trying to figure out what the dog did wrong. Ran against Book of World Records for the longest poker game, lasting for eight years, five months, and three days. And to get that game, it will cost you $1,000 a seat. And who won all that money? <laughs> well, the Birdcage Theater, of course. The house always wins. Uh, that bush across the top, that's two separate rose bushes to make that canopy. The one across the street is one single rose bush. The base of it's almost six feet across, and it's twice that size. Off to the right, the Sacred Heart Church. The Sacred Heart Church was founded by Nellie Cashman, and Miss Cashman was considered the frontier angel. The original church is right down that sidewalk, second building on the left. And while that building was being built, she had a lot of trouble with the Indians stealing her materials. So, she went to Wyatt Earp and asked permission to have church inside the Oriental Saloon which he agreed upon in the basement. I don't know about you folks, but Sunday Mass would have been awesome. Downstairs for church and then Bloody Marys and Mimosas at the bar. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Boot Hill. Boot Hill Graveyard. Boot Hill was founded in 1878 and had an original name though. They called it the Tombstone City Cemetery. <laughs> a big tall white marker. That is the home of Tom and Frank McClowry and Billy Clinton. Let's hear more. Four slugs from 44, no less, no more. And the other favorite of mine is Evil Water's father, Tom Waters. Yeah, he walked into the Oriental Slim one night wearing a shirt of a different color. The gentleman at the bar didn't like the color of his shirt and shot him dead. Yeah, that's why I never went to the Oriental Slim wearing a Dallas Cowboy t shirt. Made it into a bed and breakfast. And directly across the street, that is the There he is now, keeping an eye on the town. Current population here in Tombstone is 1,000. People always ask, did Big Nose Kate really have a big nose? Nope, very small nose. But her nose was in everybody's business. Off to the back. Wyatt, Wyatt and Morgan come out of the Shufflin Hall after watching a musical. They walked right down here on 4th Street, made a left-hand turn on Allen. They were going to a place called Campbell and Hatch. It's a billiard hall. It's March 18, 1882. About 10.35 at night, right back here in this alleyway on your left, two bullets came through the window, one striking Morgan in his back. Yeah, he bled to death right there next to the pool table. They said that other bullet was within inches of Wyatt's head. The 
younger city of brothers, Warren. The McLaurin brothers, they're still in town, Tom and Frank. They're laying next to Billy Clinton up there in Boot Hill. They, they lost the gunfight at the OK Corral. What's going on guys i am at the actual site of the at the ok corral and this is what i saw Okay guys, we're gonna eat at the Crystal Palace. This is where we're about to walk in right now. Well, we just got through at uh, Crystal Palace and we had food and it was awesome. And if you ever come to Tombstone, definitely visit them. And we also ate last night at the Longhorn. Check them out. In the old west town of Tombstone, there is e everything that you can imagine. So if you have seen the movie, White Herb, Tombstone, those movies, uh, it's all here. You need to come check it out. Uh, there's shops and old uh, trading companies and emporiums and all the old original stuff. And um, right down the, the road from Doc Holliday's and Wyatt Earp's actual house, uh, we went right by it. This is the actual courthouse here in Tombstone, built in 1882. And off out back, there's actually some gallows where they used to hang people. That's a wrap for Tombstone. Now we're headed to New Mexico.